My name is Michael Jallaru Torres. I'm a Jugan Yaru man from Broome in WA, and I'm here at the MCG for Dreamtime at the G game. I guess it allows, you know, our people to showcase their culture, their story, and the pride of it, because for so many years, we had to not practice our culture, not show any type of culture, but now, even with sport, we can add a little bit of culture in. I guess, you know, photography was always a love for me as a young child. My dad used to have a lot of cameras and, you know, as you grow up, always taking Kodak moments and stuff like that. But as a teenager, and then I, I just took more photos and, you know, just of my life around being young, but kind of gave up for a while. In 2000, I had uh, cancer, which was non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. And obviously that rocked me for quite a while. Um, 10 months treatment and my daughter at the time was only eight months. So, you know, really focused on getting, I guess, through cancer. But then, you know, being there for my daughter. And then after my daughter went away to school for boarding, I kind of, you know, decided I wanted to do something with my time that I had. And I took up photography. See around the crowds where you've got a lot of non-Indigenous people wearing the Indigenous jerseys of both teams, which, you know, as a kid, I couldn't, you know, you could never believe that'll happen, you know, but still a long way to go, but we're on a journey. Shooting at the G is definitely different to participating in the crowds. <laughs> Great atmosphere. Um, the lighting's pretty even. Ah, oh, it's pretty surreal, I mean, you know, coming from Broome, you know, you only see these grounds on TV, so you definitely don't think you'll ever be on this level, um, maybe as a player, but obviously that didn't work for me. <laughs> so got the opportunity to come down as a photographer and hopefully inspire, you know, a couple of more young fellas to go through it and experience this amazing opportunity. Morris Rioli, the junior, on the end of it, kicks. Tigers fans love it. So on the journey of the last couple of years, um, I decided I needed to leave the photography world better than when I entered. And I decided to create a collective, a group, of emerging and established Indigenous photographers. And we, as a group, came up with the name Black Lens and the logo. And so I'm championing, I guess, our group to get into these spaces and creating these pathways and opportunities. And moving forward, hopefully we'll be a peak body for Indigenous photographers so that we can, as a group, have a stronger and louder voice. So it, it's something I'm quite proud of, but I'm definitely allowing it to grow organically and letting the group, you know, push forward. But I'm just there to help steer it. <laughs>